Hi guys, today I have a recipe for you that is absolutely delicious. It's total comfort food. This is harissa lamb meatballs with a gorgeous, rich and deep spicy sauce. We're gonna start it off by making some meatballs scented with paprika and cumin and for a little bit of tenderness, some buttermilk. We're gonna fry them off until they're nice and golden brown and then we're gonna create a really rich spice sauce with the help of some beautiful North African harissa paste. Our meatballs are gonna go back in, we're gonna simmer it down, and we're gonna be left with the most glorious meatballs that can be served with rice, it can be served with couscous, or it can be served just as it is. Now, to kick this off, we're gonna make our meatballs. So I have some lovely lamb mince, I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs, some buttermilk, some onion, and then our spices to bring it together. Okay, once you have this mixed through, it's time to make this into meatballs. Now, if you do want to add an extra layer of spice in here, it's kind of mild with the cumin and the smoked paprika, just add a teaspoon of chili flakes and you'll get a bit more bite to these meatballs. But for now, this is ready to rock. So I'm gonna form these into nice little golf ball sized meatballs and we're gonna get them fried off. Now, once you have all your meatballs browned off, they should be gloriously golden all the way around. But the best part of browning them off in the pan before you start making your sauce is that you get all these gorgeous, like, crusty bits at the bottom of the pan that are gonna help add flavor to the sauce. So, let's crack on with the sauce. While the heat is still on the pan, we're gonna go in with some onions and some garlic, then add in our tomatoes and our harissa paste. Now we have a seriously gorgeous sauce coming together. Once you add the tomatoes, you're adding that great flavor, but don't forget you have all that extra flavor from the softened down garlic and onions that have fried off in that lamb fat, then that hit of fiery heat from the harissa paste. There's serious flavor going on in here. And now I'm gonna add in some orange slices, some chickpeas and some meatballs, just to bring this together before it bakes in the oven. I mean, just look at that. The colors alone are absolutely beautiful. You know it's gonna taste good. And now it's time to finish it off in the oven. It's gonna go in to bake off for about 30 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. So let's get baking. Okay, it's had its time in the oven and look at that. It is a serious stew that is jam packed full of flavor. So to serve it up, we've got some rice, some flatbreads, and it's time to dig in. Just have a look at that. Finishing it off with a tiny touch of coriander, but now it's time to try it. Mm. It's like, an altogether different meatball dish. If you've had a really good Moroccan tagine, it kind of tastes like that. It has the flavor that runs through it, that kind of earthy spice, but that slow build of heat that you get from harissa paste in through it. 
The great thing here is the lamb. I really suggest you use lamb if you're gonna do this. You could make it with pork or beef or even a vegetarian alternative, but the lamb is the flavor that I love in this dish. There you go, a really simple supper that anyone can master. It's full of flavor and it's gonna delight the entire family. Now, if you want the recipe, it's in the box below. As always, leave me a comment and let me know if you're gonna give it a go. And until then, I'm off to tuck in. See you soon.